Okay, everybody. So let's talk about the Married to Medicine season 10 finale reunion that's um, taking part right now. Um, basically, I want to start off by sharing on what's been going on. And what I've been noticing is that um, I believe Quad is coming back. And I hope so for the next season. They need to because. Um, Really, we need something to be shaken up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We need to hear more about why did the ladies feel the need to throw Quad off the bus, pretty much, or send her packing back home from Napa Valley, right? Um, and I think Quad is a, a grown woman. Like, listen, Quad can handle whatever they they throw at her. Look, she she packed her bag, she went on home, and you know she moved on. She kept it moving. She kept pushing forward, right? So um, at the the medical ball that they had, Quad came up. She was showing that she had moved on. She spoke with her ex husband, you know, and his wife and sweetie. Uh, sweet tea and you know no hard feelings for her I mean like you know she's put it in the past like she didn't want to come there to, and to speak with him you know to bring up no old drama or nothing like that that's what I loved about Quad because she know how to move on she doesn't you know simmer in the mess right so she spoke with him she gave him a hug and and, and letting him know like i'm good <laughs> okay i'm good over here and sweet tea you know sh showed us that she is a grown, grown woman as well because she allowed her husband to speak with his ex right in front of everyone she didn't bow down she didn't um you know power up she stayed confident in that and and that was good to see i'm glad they did that um how uncomfortable it was for dr g i don't know but still at least he stood there and he at least he was uh, he was accepting of the hug you know what i'm saying and you know he was a little stiff but okay he uh, he allowed it to happen and then he moved on and that was that was great of him to do right Sweet T being on the show, I would love to see her again um, next season because she is bringing some medical, you know, education to the show. And I like that. I like her dynamic. I like her and Dr. G um, relationship. I like Dr. G. And I also think that her storyline, especially when it comes to trying to have a child um, going through, um, you know, the endometriosis is kind of, you know, relatable because a lot of women are going through that and it can be very painful. So I know that it will help a lot of people um, get through what their their journey is when it comes to having a child. But also I like Sweet Tea because she is young and she's dealing with a lot of older women who set in their ways and it, I see why she kind of lashes out sometimes is because it's not that she's not uh, comfortable around these ladies is because sometimes these ladies are like hard, have a hard shell, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, as children, you know, or younger people, you know, they don't want to listen to the older people who are more experienced, who've been through some things. And sometimes, you know, you can clash with the older people when you're young. So that's what it is. And I think what it is, is Sweet Tea has been holding it in so much that when it's time, she just explodes and she's exploding on everybody. You can see when she's stressed, she explodes. She exploded on her sister. You know what I'm saying? During her, um, bridal shower she exploded on dr jackie when dr jackie was being insensitive and not trying to relate or be you know re relatable in the, the things that sweet tea was trying to express especially when you're 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 just blurting out things with no emotional ties you know what i'm saying it can be very frustrating so i i see that and i like to see um more of sweet tea and how um her journey you know, plays out with, you know, having a child. I, I hope, you know, that it happens for her and Dr. G. I wish the best for them. So, um, and I like that she is very mature when it comes to not 
you know, sh being shadeful to Quad, not being disrespectful to Quad. Look at how she was at the ball. She was very poised and she spoke with her husband. She asked him and then guess what? He, they, she stood there while her husband and his ex-wife talked in a safe space. And she was, I think she held herself great. And Dr. G, he was poised, but like I said, he was a little kind of stiff because he was probably take you know caught off guard and he was like he had seen her in a while so yeah okay so i'm moving on from that i like all three of them okay so miss phaedra so i like phaedra being on the show but i know that i prefer to see her on real housewives of, of atlanta but either way it goes i like her on both shows okay and um we all know that phaedra is <laughs> one of those um you know, outspoken women, like when she has to be, and sometimes she's very quiet and, but I love her style. Uh, she's not, she can dress her butt off and, um, I like that. But, um, on the show we are seeing, um, Phaedra just trying to be neutral, trying to not really get into any beefs or squats or anything like that. So I remember seeing a clip about when they were on the reunion and so I think Andy asked her, you know, about, you know, quad and why such and such and such. And she was like, um, you know, it's, I won't say word for word, but it's like, why would she attach herself to a sinking ship? Okay. And so, you know, especially being new on the show and, you know, it sounded wrong. And I don't even think Quad even took offense to it, but I haven't seen the reunion now, so you never know. But um, because she's saying I'm new to the show, why would I be taking sides? Why would I be running to this person's aid? And I haven't even really gotten to know all of these people. It may be offensive to someone else of the group, some, some other woman of the group, right? The ladies, right? So I see why Phaedra said that. So, um, yeah, I like Phaedra on the show. I I want to see her on that other show called Traders too, because it looks interesting, right? But I like seeing Phaedra on the show. But if she goes over to Real Housewives of Atlanta, that's what I know her from. That's what I'm used to. And I would love to see her um, expand and expound on uh, what she left uh, off on. At, on Real Housewives of Atlanta, if some of you guys know what I'm talking about, like with her and her dynamic with her husband, Apollo. And I seen that Apollo was on the reunion and look, he was sitting right behind her. So, you know, Apollo, you know, he's not a bad guy. Like he's not a bad guy. I liked him on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but some of the stuff he was doing was questionable. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he was trying to keep it interesting too. I don't know any of these people like I said, I'm just a reviewer of the shows that I watch and I am doing this as a hobby. Okay. Don't come for me. Um, and we know, uh, some, some of the, of the, you know, cast probably listen to the bloggers and even listen to me. And I've already always said, I am not doing this to harm. I'm sharing through fair use and I like the show and I like the ladies on the show, but I'm telling you my own, um, Pers not personal opinion, but I would say professional blogger opinion <laughs> about the ladies that I enjoy listening to and watching on the show. So anyway, we'll get to some more later. Uh, but right now I like Phaedra on the show. I just want to see more from Phaedra. I want to get, I want, I'm not, we need to see some more substance uh, from Phaedra, but I like Phaedra now. Don't get it twisted. All right, Phaedra. All right, guys. So, um, Okay, so Dr. Simone. Okay, that's day one, Dr. Simone. I've been watching the show since, you know, the first season, first episode. Um, I like Dr. Simone. I want to see her again on the show. She has um, good intentions. Um, it may not come out <laughs> the way we would like to sometimes, but when I tell you, when she's had enough, she ain't scared to tell you. She's already, she's like um, some of the Florida women that I know, like they very loud. They're going to get their point across, you know what I'm saying? And they don't care what you think at certain moments. Okay. But anyway, so I like her on the show and, um, you know, her and Cecil as a team, as a couple, I really enjoy that. It really shows you um, black love, you know, and, it's really nice to see because they do, you know, go on the trips with a theme, with a uh, 
you know, good intentions, right? So anyway, I'm just going to move on to the next. I want to see her on the show um, because all of us love, especially the bloggers and a lot of the people who watch the show, you know, even off YouTube, we like to see Simone's dynamic because she is a doctor. She um, tells it like it is, like a doctor should, but she knows the boundaries of a doctor. She knows she ain't going to be out here splurting it out out loud about anybody's personal business no shade but you know um it is what it is um yeah i like to see that and i like we like to see the dynamic of her her husband and her sons and to make you know just because we want to see them succeed we want to see her son succeed because all of us you know not all of us but most of us have children as well and have you know throughout the years, seeing their children grow as our children grow, you know what I'm saying? And so we want to see our black men, you know, being successful, going on to college, doing the right thing, getting their own place, just like we want our children, because our children are doing the same thing, right? So yeah, so good, good on the show for, um, you know, our culture. Uh, and I'm going to, to the next one. Okay, so we're on to Toya. Toya, I love seeing Toya on the show. I can't. I would like to see the, her on the show next season too. Okay, and the thing is, what I like about Toya is Toya gonna give you the good and the bad. She, I, she reminds me of me. I'm gonna give you the good. I'm gonna give you the bad, and whatever you think in between is not my problem. Okay, the thing is, I'm still gonna live my life, and that's what I, I feel like you should. You keep, you keep moving on. You keep moving forward until you get it right, or till you get it to where it needs to be, right? And so I know Toya gets a lot of flack from the viewers or the bloggers, but the thing is, um you know, she's confident in who she is. Her husband loves her. She loves her husband and they make a good team. They have great children. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, um, with Toya, the only thing I, I didn't like too much is how, because I've been watching this show from the beginning and I want to say this, when Toya and that lady, um, Carrie, okay. Y'all did not give Quad um, a chance. I don't know if before season one happened, episode one happened, but the viewers seen what we saw, okay? And I, I know Quad knows what I'm talking about. Like when yo, when she came in that in, in um, Mariah's house and Carrie and Toya were standing there talking or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They were already prejudging quad i don't know if because of the history that toya and quad has probably outside of the show when it first aired you know what i mean maybe they ran in the same circles of um pharmaceutical sales representatives you know you have to have a, a, a degree for that if no one knows but maybe they had something going on prior to that and that was the re that's the reason why toya was like prejudging quad or just trying to you know, I don't go for comfort quad, you know what I'm saying? So I hope they get to the point where at least they can talk about that on the show. I would love to hear them talk about that. See, Mariah is not on the show anymore. And I really like Mariah on the show. Her and Claude's energy was, I mean, second to none. It kept the viewers watching. It kept us going. I don't know what happened, where it got to the point where the, you know, the person who created this show ended up not, not on the show. I mean, just like Nene, like it just is crazy. I mean, give them time out, but bring them back. Uh, okay, because we want to see Mariah back on the show, but I know she's moved on. She's doing great things. And if she happened to come on, let her come on as a friend to the show or something. Okay. But anyway, so anyway, I want to see more of Quad and Toya's dynamic because this is what really is the core to me of all these women pushing her off, pushing her away. Quad has gone through a lot of stuff. So how are y'all expecting her to give y'all more when she's going through some stuff and then she, her husband's, you know, her and her husband divorced, da, 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 but she's still part of the show because the people still want to see Quad on the show, okay? Um, like I had said one time, Quad is a breakout star. She's a breakout star. She can really do some things on her own, you know what I'm saying? 
And I just hope that they're not pushing Quad away from some other reasons, some pent up, you know, anger and personal reasons that was going on before the show. I don't know, but we would love to see that dynamic. Hopefully Andy and the executives get with Quad and Toya and, and really have a seat, uh, a one-on-one, you know how they do like the one-on-ones and stuff with people and, and bring something different to the show. We want to see something different. All this, the, the, this trips. Okay. We love luxury. We know trips is good and all that. We want to see some substance in this, but this is married to medicine. So when it comes to medicine and health, you need to be straight up with the people. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So for real, for real, no shade at all. There's no shade. I like her on the show. I just know <laughs> how Florida women are. We all play. We get loud. We get in your face. We talk. We, you know what I'm saying? But um, sometimes we need to know when to um, quiet it up. Okay. And I'm glad she's listening to her husband. And as you guys see, some of the bloggers um, posted that she is was told to get off of her her YouTube page talking about uh, merit to medicine. Um, I don't know who told her to get off of her page, but it's also, I think she said her husband even suggested that she should get off of the um, YouTube page talking about merit to medicine. Maybe not her university. I don't think so, because I think that's something good. You know, that's for her, her subscribers to use to get their businesses started. Hey, I would join it if I had the time and the resources to do that. But that's for another day. I just think that when it comes to getting all into the show and trying to be on the show and in the audience, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Um, leave the blogging to the bloggers on YouTube. You stay on the panel of Bravo, okay? And give us what we're looking for um, and, you know, check the girls from time to time, but still, you know, take care of the, the what's really important. And that is the show, you know, we don't want to see you off the show. So I don't know. I also seen that Heavenly said that someone told on her, um, nobody told on you, Heavenly, you told on yourself, you, you talk too much on, on your uh, YouTube page and you start taking it personal because you're starting to listen to the bloggers and, and taking it personal. And then you want to talk about it. No, you get up, stay on the show, do your thing on the show, perform. That's all we want you to do. You know, run your storyline, okay? Because <laughs> it's keeping us watching, okay? We don't want to see anybody, um, you know, your, your, you and your husband getting upset and, and at each other or anything like that. This show coming between your marriage. No, we love Married to Medicine. You're, you're married to a great husband. He's a good guy and we like him on the show. Because he brings balance to the men too. Okay, we love to see that dynamic too, um, and to you. Um, but Daddy is a little too perturbed sometimes. We can see it in his face <laughs> on the one on ones. But still, yes, get off. I don't want to say get off of it. If you're gonna get off of it, just don't be so. You know, don't take it personal. That's all I can say. I don't know. You can't tell people what do. They're grown, and and if it's you know help making you happy and you're you know, closet, do what you need to do, do what you love and love what you do, but just listen to your husband first. If he said, get off, get off. That's it. And be the star of the show. Okay. So, um, that's all I want to say. I like heavenly and, um, she's a Florida girl. I love my Florida girls. We, we're going to give it to you how it is. We're going to be loud. We're going to talk our talk or talk our chat. Okay. And we're going to give it to you, whether you like it or not, we're going to give you the tough love. We're going to give it to you, but we know when to be sweet and soft and everything at the right time. And sometimes heavenly don't do that. Okay. And that's what I'm just trying to say. So I just want to bring that to you. Uh, you know, and I hope she's listening and no one told on her. She just needs to take accountability. Okay, we're at the end of the show and I have two more to go. This is Dr. Jackie and Dr. Alicia. So Dr. Jackie, um, I'm glad to see her being more airy, being more lively when it comes to, you know, having fun on the show, right? Um, but I it seems like she is working with her doctor. She said her doctor is telling her, you know, be the light that she wants to see. And I guess that's why she, we're seeing a little change in her. And I'm glad she's doing that because we want to see Dr. Jackie on the show. I like Dr. Jackie. She's, she's brings, you know, the, 
the stern, um, older parent, or older, you know, professional. So we like to see that because it's necessary because somebody got to keep these women in check. Okay. But I want to see Dr. Jackie, not only putting other people, you know, in check, check your friend, Dr. Heavenly, because sometimes she's getting out of pocket. And when it comes to her, you know, being so boisterous, no one's trying to tell her to, to just quiet it down. Like you're her friend. Come on. We want to see that. We don't want to see our black sister out here, you know, just, you know, barking, barking back and barking, barking at everybody, you know, sometimes, you know, just chill. Okay. With that. So anyway, Dr. Alicia, the dentist, she's new to the show. I like her on the show. Uh, we want to see more of her and her husband dynamic, really get some oomph out of them. But all in all, I like the show. I want to see all the ladies back, but we need Bravo to shake it up a little bit because we have seen enough of the, the trips and all that and still go on the trips, but we really want to get one-on-one -on -one with the ladies. Okay. The husbands are great. You know, they bring what they need to bring. Um, we would like to see a little bit more dynamic with them too. But when it comes to um, like really having a one-on-one -on -one with the, the reason, re reasoning of why they're not meshing with quad or why, you know, the, the beef sometimes gets a little distorted. You know what I'm saying? So we want to see that one-on-one -on -one with them sometimes like bring in a, a Zyana Van Zant, you know, and I know she'll shake them up child. She'll have them at the, the, uh, in the church at the podium. Okay. So let me tell you, Bravo, bring us something, bring us some umph. We love this show. Married to Medicine is so necessary, but we want to see more about health issues too. We want to see more of the, the dynamic of the you know, the, the medicine part too. We love that. Um, but we also want to see what is really the root of the situation. We want to get this, uh, just out in the open so that they can move on so we can see other things. I mean, you know, we can't keep beating the dead horse. Okay. Let's get quiet back in there and let's get some things, um, uh, turned up a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, this is the original Princess Bronze coming at you on this beautiful day. Um, let's talk about it. Okay, we're at the end of the show and I have two more to go. This is Dr. Jackie and Dr. Alicia. So Dr. Jackie, um, I'm glad to see her being more airy, being more lively when it comes to you know having fun on the show right um but it seems like she is working with her doctor she said her doctor is telling her you know be the light that she wants to see and i guess that's why she, we're seeing a little change in her and i'm glad she's doing that because we want to see dr jackie on the show i like dr jackie she's she's brings you know the the stern, um, older parent, uh, older, you know, professional. So we like to see that because it's necessary because somebody got to keep these women in check. Okay. But I want to see Dr. Jackie, not only putting other people, you know, in check, check your friend, Dr. Heavenly, because sometimes she's getting out of pocket. And when it comes to her, you know, being so boisterous, no one's trying to tell her to, to just quiet it down. Like you're her friend. Come on. We want to see that. We don't want to see our black sister out here, you know, just, you know, barking, barking back and barking, barking at everybody, you know, sometimes, you know, just chill. Okay. With that. So anyway, Dr. Alicia, the dentist, she's new to the show. I like her on the show. Um, we want to see more of her and her husband dynamic, really get some oomph out of them. But all in all, I like the show. I want to see all the ladies back, but we need Bravo to shake it up a little bit because we have seen enough of the, the trips and all that and still go on the trips, but we really want to get one-on-one -on -one with the ladies. Okay. The husbands are great. You know, they bring what they need to bring. Um, we would like to see a little bit more dynamic with them too. But when it comes to um, like really having a one-on-one -on -one with the, the reason, re reasoning of why they're not meshing with quad or why, you know, the, the beef sometimes gets a little distorted. You know what I'm saying? So we want to see that one-on-one -on -one with them sometimes like bring in a, a Zyana Van Zant, you know, and I know she'll shake them up child. She'll have them at the, the uh, in the church at the podium. Okay. So let me tell you, uh, Bravo, bring us something, 
bring us some unk. We love this show. Marriage and medicine is so necessary, but we want to see more about health issues too. We want to see more of the, the dynamic of the, you know, the, the medicine part too. We love that. Um, but we also want to see what is really the root of the situation. We want to get this uh, just out in the open so that they can move on so we can see other things. I mean, you know, we can't keep beating the dead horse. Okay. Let's get quad back in there and let's get some things uh, turned up a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, this is the original Princess Bronze coming at you on this beautiful day. Um, let's talk about it.